Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to create five viral hooks in DaVinci Resolve. Now there's gonna be five different methods and stick around till the fourth one because it's going to be the best. Now we're gonna be doing this all in DaVinci Resolve. You guys are welcome to follow along. And without further ado, let's hop into this video. So this is the viral hook that we're working with today. If you want to achieve what I'm achieving, it's not hard, you just have to set. That's the hook we're working with today and there's gonna be so many different methods that you guys can do. Um, starting off with just one of the easiest methods is just obviously coming over into the titles over here. You know, this is, this is like probably the worst way to do it, um, but grabbing a template, you know, so. Um, how to achieve now guys stay with me because we're going to actually show some really good methods here if you future. want to achieve so that's a way you could do but i don't even want to finish that way out just because i know how booty that is and you guys are probably wondering like ryan come on like where is the sauce but i just had to show you guys that simple way if you guys wanted something just super simple you know all of these boxes you know you got the glitch text i think you guys should literally stay away from that no joke i think you guys should honestly just stay away from any of those and just don't waste your time so the next one is a little more advanced we can go ahead and use um text plus come here and just do how to achieve so how to achieve we're gonna make this a little bigger and let me let you guys in on a little secret text font is probably the most important thing that is out there to this day um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this, I'm gonna put this like probably like about right here. And then for this one, we're just gonna turn it on light and size it down just like this. Put that there and just say, it's not hard. It's not hard. You put that right there, it's looking clean. Just so we're just gonna cut that there for the video sake purpose, but we're just gonna cut that there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create a compound clip. Now, this hook is gonna involve no animating, simple cropping methods. We're just gonna go to the right and crop this. If you, you, you want, if you how to want to achieve, and then achieve, so. If you want to achieve, evil. Then we're gonna do the same thing for this compound clip. Um, and we're gonna to go to right and then just say what. What? what and then, um. I'm a achieving. So like a little bit like what this. What I'm achieving. And then you got the it's not hard. So we're gonna create that as a compound it's clip. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. So. It's not. Not. Hard. So now this is what our hook's looking like. If you want to achieve what I'm achieving, it's not hard. You just super simple, basic, generic caption captions just for your hook. For the third method, we're gonna get into a little bit of animating. So we're gonna do if you want to achieve what um so we're just gonna make achieve just like that, and then we're gonna say what um achieving it's not hard just like that and we're just going to ice this up in the fusion page so now we're going to go to the fusion page for the first time all we're going to do is we're going to double click and hit character level stylings and just go over to the modifiers now this is uh, by far uh, the most advanced method of this video um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to size this up and i'm actually going to change this to extenda 40 hecto and we're going to make achieve pretty decently big and we're gonna do the if you want to and do clash royale variable. And like I said, guys, you know, uh, the text font matters a lot. And we're just gonna make that like the size of achieve. So about right there. And then we're gonna go to line spacing and just put this as close as we want, just about right there. So you could already see where it's looking good, you know. Um, and then we're gonna do what I'm achieving. And we're gonna go ahead and do clash variable display. This time we're gonna do a medium. So as you can see, we, we did regular, now we're gonna do, um, actually we'll, we'll just do semi-bold. And we're gonna make this one, and we're going to highlight these and just zoom them in like so. And then take the just, it's not hard. Do the same thing, like I said, clash variable display. And this time we're gonna do bold. And we're gonna just turn the line spacing down. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna actually probably just take achieve. And I wanna make this sort of like a different color from the rest. Um, I'm not too sure what color I wanna make it. Just something that stands out, um, whatever it is, maybe that fits my video. So maybe we'll do like a, like an or like an orange color like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add a glow to everything. And we're just gonna size it up. Size this down, that, that way it's just a subtle glow. 
And then after this glow, we're gonna go ahead and hit a transform node, and this is where the animating is gonna come into play. So we're just gonna move this off the screen to one of the most basic generic animations. Hit a keyframe over here with this diamond, and we're gonna go to 45 frames. You want it to be around that 40 to 45 frames for that sweet spot. Put this back up to 0.5. And as you can see, you have what's called a linear animation. So if you want to look, make this look better, you're gonna come over here and uh, make sure your spline is open. You're gonna have a little graph right here. We're gonna go to zoom to fit, click in this box and hit Command A. We're gonna double click using our mouse and we're gonna go to Ease and go to Out Cubic. And you can quickly tell that now we have a smooth animation. Now I'm gonna go to Motion Blur in the settings and just turn this on. I think it looks better. Um, now what I'm going to do is right at around here <clears throat> is when the animation starts to get slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brightness contrast and we're just going to crank that gain up just like so. Then we're going to add a square mask to it. Okay. Um, like I said guys, I was bringing you the sauce today and we're just going to go ahead and make it thin just like that. And we're going to just simply just turn this soft edge up honestly. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because we're going to do something pretty cool like a light sweep and we want that soft edge up as much as possible so that way it looks as real as possible and once it comes through it's going to look something like this just like that so we want it to start right here on frame 30 around right here and we're going to hit an animation and go to about 60 and then we're going to swipe it through make sure it goes all the way through so now if we play this through we have this just like so but now you see we're running into a problem where when it animates up it comes right there i don't think that's a big problem personally um, but if you think it's a big problem then what you could do is just go back into the rectangle mask and just simply pull it back right here that way you don't run into that issue bada bing bada boom just like so if you want to smooth that out you can but i don't think you need to if you want to achieve what i'm achieving it's not hard you just have to set your mind to it <clears throat> just like that okay if you want to achieve what i'm achieving it's not hard you just have to set your mind to it all right guys so that is option number three now we're going to move into four the most important method in my opinion and of course i'm talking about the viral hooks pack now guys this is seven plus handmade animations for you guys that you can get with the first link down in the description it's literally it's probably one of my cheapest packs it's just a template and as you can see you have this stack hook Everything's fully customizable. Um, everything, you you know, it comes with all the sound effects. It comes with assets. You know, you get this, all that right there. Um, everything you get is easily replaceable. I'm gonna show you guys how it works, okay? So you get all of those sound effects too, like I said. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do it with this first hook right here. And like I said, guys, there's seven plus viral hooks in here and it's just a template. So it's one of my most viral uh, pack right now. And actually, truth be told, it is one of my cheapest packs too. So. I'm going to show you guys how it is done in here. So all I'm going to do is just simply control V the captions into my timeline. And as you can see, if you want to achieve what I'm achieving. It, we already not, have the stack hook just ready. Not to be hard. You just have to set your mind to it. So I actually realized that that one didn't really fit what I'm looking for. Um, and I want to use this long text sequence right here. So like I said, guys, what we're going to do is just going to literally just copy this over command C. Um, and go back to your project file and just go ahead and hit command V. And now you're gonna see how easily replaceable everything is. So first things first is we're just gonna move this to the end. So first things first, you could tell that it's easily not long enough. Everything's not long enough. So we just have to extend it out just like that, just to where it goes. And then obviously my asset, we have to move this to where it goes to the middle. You know, it does come done, ready for you, but you're gonna have to change some things and adjust it to your footage. So just like that, just those small things right I'm there. To it. So now I have it just like that. So now everything everything is in play now. All we gotta do is just change the, the simple, um, if you, you all we gotta do is just change the if you, so like right there we have if you, and we'll just sign, size want it to down. achieve what? Actually, we could probably size it up, like right there. What I'm a Honestly, like this little zoom out animation is like really just, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, you don't have to use if it. If you so. want to. So for this one, we're just going to do one. And then this one will just move back like so. Just like that. What? And then what? Um, so we'll just do the um right here. 
So now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. So if you want to achieve what... So we're gonna change this to what... Um, and, and there's this little uh, graph that you can change. You can change it to any PNG that you want. But for this instant, I literally do not want it. So what, um, what I'm, I'm so we're just gonna literally now we're just gonna do this. So this is gonna be a pretty cool effect. Um, we're just gonna go to layout and move this over. So achieving it, and then we're just gonna do it's move this one back over. It's not not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So, and once you're finished with your hook, like I literally just added this to my um, <clears throat> my viral video that I just posted. If you want to achieve what I'm achieving, it's not hard. You just have to set your mind to it. It's so just like that, now you guys have a viral hook ready to be used in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys. So, and I wouldn't leave this video without giving you guys some sauce. I'm gonna show you guys sort of how I kind of did that animation. So, we're gonna come here and do what. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit bold, and then we're gonna go up using option, uh, achieve, achieving. I know I'm spelling achieving wrong every single time, which is the funny part. Achieving, and then we're gonna say do this. So for that one, we're gonna do extend to 40 hecto, size it up. Um, we're gonna put it like right there. And this is just as an example so we're gonna do what, um, so we have this cool little animation type deal right here. So what I'm um, achieving, do this, okay? So first things first, we're gonna come into the Fusion page and we're gonna hit, hit Shift space for a transform. We're gonna go down just a little bit and hit a keyframe and go about 25 frames forward. Come back here and go to 0 0.5. Now we're gonna use some motion blur Turn this up, zoom to fit, command A, double click, ease out cubic. So now if we place through, just like that, go to the template shading, opacity turn down, keyframe one, two, three, four, five. Turn that back up and go to this. What um and then we're gonna go ahead and do something very similar to that. So you guys can just watch me cook um, and just kind of get to know what it does. But if you want the template, it's literally just in my, my first link in the description of this video it is probably my favorite template I've ever created. Um, cheapest pack and it's on mega sale. So I don't see a no brainer why you guys wouldn't go do that and save a bunch of time. Um, but if you guys want to use it, you guys can just follow my workflow I'm doing right here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, just simple. It's just, it's just repetitive. That's all it is, you know, and, and, it, and it definitely gets hard and it's not for everyone. So if you guys want, like I said, just get the viral hooks pack, save yourself some time. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it um, for the video. And that is going to pretty much conclude this video for my sake. Hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, just like that, you have that animation just right there. Super simple and easy. Um, it is a new viral animation style that I created myself. And if you guys want to use it, like I said, DaVinci Resolve users, first link in the description. Thank you guys for checking this video out and I will see you guys in the next one. Go get Viral Hooks Pack.